Welcome to Podcast Suck, a podcast about starting a podcast, where we dive headfirst into the wild, wacky, and sometimes frustrating world of podcasting. If you've ever sat down with a microphone, hit record and thought, what on earth am I doing? Or if you're just curious about the magic behind your favorite shows, then you're in the right place. Get ready for laughs, insights, and a whole lot of what not to do advice as we embark on this podcasting journey together. Let's dive in. What's happening, everybody? How we doing? Happy Tuesday to you. We're getting very, very close to the part of the year where no one has absolutely any idea. All right, a couple technical glitches there, but we're getting this live thing going here. Let me tell you, we're getting this live thing going here. I was hearing myself talk. I was like, what's going on here? I was trying to figure out why we weren't going live on uh, Instagram. I figured that all out. So we'll have uh, Andy make sure we edit out the first part of our technical blips on here. Let's try this again. You see, live technology always provides some sort of challenge. That's why most people don't do it. Instead of just figuring out how to work through that challenge and just done is better than perfect. Imperfect action, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this is a uh, live recording of the Podcast Suck podcast, a podcast about how to grow, about how to start and grow your podcast. It's one of my mo- newer shows that I've launched. Really excited to continue to share what I know about the world of podcasting, not just how to start a podcast, but what do you do once you have a podcast? How do you grow it? What are the integral logistical details that you need to make sure you're paying attention to so your show continues to grow so that you can maximize the opportunity of being able to identify opportunities as they come about uh, with your podcast. This episode, I want to talk to you today about podcasting and artificial intelligence, specifically chat GPT made a, a post a few months back when chat GPT became all the rage, which has been a majority of this year. And I became curious on how people could leverage uh, social media or excuse me, chat GPT and um, artificial intelligence to grow and continue to maximize opportunities within their podcast. So came up with a couple of things that make perfect sense that can save you a lot of time. Now, if you're a do-it-yourself podcaster out there, meaning you've started the show on your own, you produce it on your own. This episode is going to to really resonate with you because it's going to give you a lot of hacks to make your life just that much easier. Now, if you have a podcast and you've got a team producing your show, you're going to want to share this episode with your team to make sure that you guys are leveraging and maximizing all of the benefits that artificial intelligence has to offer for your podcast. All right, let's dive right into it. First of all, What in the world am I going to talk about on my podcast? What am I going to talk about on my next episode? What am I going to talk about if I start a podcast? Some of these questions may have crossed your mind in the past or continue to to cross your mind. And this is where chat GPT and artificial intelligence can really get in there and help you figure those things out. Uh, Chat GPT allows you to generate ideas. I'm checking my notes as I look to the side here for those of you watching the live video. Generate ideas for new episodes, segments, brainstorm engaging topics, or outline episodes to keep your content fresh and relevant. So you can, you again, you've got to get in there and play with Chat GPT and continue to revise the prompts and help it better understand exactly how you're talking to it and how it should be talking to you. But for elementary purposes and really breaking it down as simple as I possibly can. You go to chat GPT, which is a free tool, by the way, if you've been living underneath the rockets, chat.openai, uh, openai.com. That's chat.openai.com. That link will be in the show notes of the podcast episode. Uh, once it comes out, I'll drop one on the comments of the live on LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh YouTube and Instagram. Now we finally made it live over on Instagram fire that way up, but you can write a prompt in chat GPT that says, if you own a, um, personal, uh, personal training business and a majority of your business is done online, your podcasting is all about personal training. You probably have a good idea, health and wellness about what to talk about. But if you want to mix things up, you would write a prompt that says something like, and not exactly, but create 10 podcast episode topics 
for a podcast about personal training, health, and wellness. That's going to be a pretty good start. Now, I just said 10. You could do 20. You could do 30. You can get in there and revise things as it goes. But first things first for ChatGPT and your podcast helps you figure out what podcast ideas you're going to use for content, i.e. your episodes. So first things first, content. Second, figuring out scripts, not for episodes. I'm not a fan of scripting out your episode. I'm a fan of outlining your episode and having a one page to follow. That's a completely different topic for a completely different episode. I may have touched on it actually a few episodes ago on outlining and planning your episode. But as far as scripting things, when you're going in and trying to figure out what to say on your intro, what to say on your outro, what to say on your promotional trailer, writing a prompt like create an in a podcast intro script for a podcast about shopping, create a podcast script for a trailer about a podcast that talks about bass fishing create an outro for a podcast about roofing whatever the case may be you go in and you're basically just telling chat gpt in specific language whatever language you decide that is but it needs to be intelligent enough that chat gpt can say okay i understand what you're saying here's the answer to that so script writing incredible for intros outros teasers i don't recommend scripting an entire episode because you're going to sound like you're reading it you're never going to be able to follow the script while paying attention especially if you're interviewing someone so just keep the script writing part of uh, chat gpt down to the scripts that you actually have to write to go and actually record outside of the episodes uh, research research is a phenomenal way to find out what your audience wants to know another great way to figure out what you should be talking about another great way to research you know based on me talking about fill in the blank for the past five episodes what other things can i discuss that complement those topics for example give me 10 new topics that complement the past five episodes of the Beyond the Story podcast with Sebastian Rusk. That should be enough information for ChatGPT to query enough information from the Beyond the Story podcast and the prompt that I'm telling it to deliver additional content topics and ideas. You understand? You're taking what you already have going in and asking ChatGPT to give you more of what you already have but in a different way, in, in, in addition to what you've already spoken about, in addition to wanting to be able to expand on the topic of your podcast. Very, very useful uh, for that. Tips, tricks, and tools on how to interview people. A phenomenal way to use ChatGPT. ChatGPT, give me 10 of your best tips on how to interview someone on a podcast. Chat GPT, give me 15 of your best tips on how to interview someone like a pro true professional. Chat GPT, give me 10 tips on how to interview someone like Howard Stern. Whatever you want to ask it, you can ask it. But asking for tips, tricks, tools, know how from Chat GPT, a phenomenal way to be able to leverage and use that. I get asked a lot how do you interview someone? Ask Chat GPT. Everyone's interview style is different, but there are some general practices that you'll want to follow that Chat GPT can definitely help you out with. Uh, podcast show notes. That's basically breaking down in the text, the description of your podcast episode, your podcast uh, notes as far as the text version is concerned. You find that when you are done recording an episode, you get it ed edited, you're ready to upload it. You're like, what am I going to call this episode? What's the title going to be? And then what am I going to put in the description? Chat GPT is an incredible tool for being able to do that. You do need to work with Chat GPT and some plugins to be able to add a file into Chat GPT so that it can then not only transcribe the episode, but go in and create organized show notes that give you a summary and a description and guest details and quotes and timestamps and notable quotes and all that fun stuff. So there's a little bit of manual labor involved with this process, but this is a great hack. If you're not using 
uh, show notes right now. If you're not doing anything in your description, we use a tool called swell.ai phenomenal tool to get in there and create titles and show notes and descriptions and transcriptions and all kinds of stuff. I'll drop a link in the show notes of this podcast episode for you to be able to go check it out. But chat GPT is a free solution to at least start the initial process of creating show notes. I don't believe you can put a, a link to the podcast episode in chat GPT. You may be able to actually reference the name of the podcast and the podcast episode title to be able to get that accomplished. So uh, social media promotion, you can say, hey, chat GPT, create 10 to 15 social media captions for the past five episodes of the podcast suck podcast. Uh, you can ask chat GPT for effective ways on how to monetize your podcast, non-traditional ways of how to make money with your podcast. You'd be surprised at some of the things chat GPT teaches you. Uh, continuous improvement. You can gather feedback from past episodes. You can gather feedback and analyze reviews that are given on your podcast to then better serve your, um, your, your podcast audience on there. So that's just uh, a few ways to leverage chat GPT and artificial intelligence uh, for your podcast. There are several different ways uh, to be able it'll, this will continue to evolve as the robots continue to take over. So continue to stay in the mix with what's happening with chat GPT. Just start using it on a daily basis. I don't care if you're looking for a good spaghetti recipe or you're trying to find something about your, your, your new hobby, or you're trying to find effective ways to grow and expand your business, your podcast, your YouTube channel, your book, whatever the case may be, start using it, making it, making it a daily habit for you to be able to go in there and say, okay, I'm going to better understand what ChatGPT can do to make my life and business just that much easier. So questions, thoughts, concerns, ideas. If you're thinking about starting a podcast and you haven't done so, and you're watching the live replay, you're watching this live right now, you can scan that QR code right in the top right-hand corner, my left-hand corner uh, of the screen here. That'll bring you right to a page. You can schedule a call uh, to chat about what's possible with starting a podcast, see if you're a fit for our 90-day launch program. But thoughts, ideas, concerns about this episode or any episodes on the podcast, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hang out on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Leave a comment on any of those platforms. Send me a DM on Instagram. I do respond to each and every one of you lovely people. Until next time. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. We sure do appreciate it. If you have done so already, make sure you're subscribed to the show wherever you consume podcasts. This way we'll get updates as new episodes become available. If you feel so inclined, please leave us a review and share the show with someone you know should start a podcast or may already have one. And remember, podcasts suck if you don't have one. Until next time, friends.